The results are in, and I am humbled to be North Carolina's next congressman from the 13th district. made this happen. This is your win. This is not my win. This is a win about sending a message that folks are tired of far-right extremists. If you run as 100% pro-Trump in a district like this, you are going to lose. And that's more important than winning this election. The message we send with this, that far-right extremists are going to be rejected by voters because they know the difference. And we get to send that message with this win. Thank you all so much. I can't tell you how much you. Steve, uh, we, we had a group with us from the beginning. Steve Rao, Yalu, Maria Cervania, Vicki Adamson were some of the, the elected leaders who got behind us right away. Let's give them a round of applause. I want to acknowledge them. I want to specifically acknowledge the hardworking men and women of the North Carolina AFL CIO. All of the la labor got behind us in a major way. I can thank so many other people here. Everybody here did something to make this happen. And, and we won because we worked harder, because we believed in our state, and we left it all out on the field. That's how you win this race. You hit doors. Quinn, 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 our Quinn, 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 more than 16,000 doors. <laughs> There's one more I gotta bring up. Alicia Speedy, our finance director. <laughs> Alicia, did we raise some money for this campaign? Just a little yeah. bit. Thank you for answering my email. <laughs> Abby, just come up here again. Come on. Come on. Abby May, our campaign manager. <laughs> The question I have to ask, this is a big question. Are you really going to get the banana tattoo now? She said she would. I don't know. All right, folks, listen. I, 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 I'm, we, we got a lot to celebrate. Again, I, I'm, I'm so grateful and humbled and honored to be here. And, and I am going to fight like hell and work with every ounce of my energy to represent this district. And the first thing I'm going to start doing is talk to the Republicans and independents who didn't support my campaign and talk to them about how I'm going to be their voice in Congress. I'm going to be representing every single person in this district. That's the message I want to send it to folks because we need folks working towards the center in Washington. I'm so excited to get to Washington to change the tone. We need to do that. And with your help, we, we have done it and we have won tonight. Thank you all so much. Yeah.